Welcome back to another video guys and today we're going to be covering table rebinning. So real quick what this is if we have a table so if you look at on my screen now we have a normally aspirated tune that goes all the way up to 8400 rpm and 100 kpa. 100 kpa would be wide open throttle on a normally aspirated engine. So if we have this engine and the engine is properly tuned with this map and then for whatever reason we want to increase our rev, say we add some cum shots and we want to add an extra 2000 or 3000 RPMs to our current tune and then we also add a turbo so we want to add um, boost cells. So some folks make the mistake of just trying to um, tune for boost in here which is wrong. So what we would have to do is to add boost, boost cells and boost is anything above 100 kPa. So one PSI of boost is 7 kPa. So if you want to add 10 PSI of boost, you need, your table needs to go up to at least 170 kPa. So let me show you how we do that real quick. So in the paid version of Tuner Studio, we have this arrow on the lower left corner. It's called toggle, rebin, the X and the Y axis. So on our Y axis, we have load, manifold pressure, measuring kpa and on the x-axis we have rpm so if i go here i can basically change i have a new window that pops up and i can usually i can basically change the entire table to feature whatever load points i want so to make it real easy here's what i'm going to do so i'm going to just change this one from 75 let's say we want to just add a few cells for boost we run in a a low pressure turbo system. So we can change this one to 80. Say we change here to 100. We go up to 120. Let's go up to 140. And let's say 170. So right around 10 PSI. So in our previous map, we see our 100 kPa. We had a maximum value of 87 in our VE table. Keep that in mind, and we're going to do the same thing for eight for well 87 going up to picking up to 90, right? And on our load point, we have a maximum of 8700 rpm, which is here. So these are the biggest numbers in our VE table, right? Here and here. So say we want to add 2000 rpm to this, so we're going up to 84. So let's change this to. Let's call this one 8500 and say we want to now rev our engine to 10,000 RPM. All right, so as soon as I hit this interpolate key, it's going to keep the values in our table. So it's going to keep all of this in there, but it's now going to change it, rescale it, so that it fits within our newly arranged, our newly binned table. So our this tune will now fit into this section roughly in our map. So let's see how that plays out. So if I hit interpolate, let me just clear the screen. If I hit interpolate, this is what happens, right? So now our 100 kPa on this map, which used to be up there is now down here. It's now here. See 87 going all the way up to 90. This is where our previous map stopped. And again, our map on the RPM axis would previously go in here. So that value is just carried over to this new map, this new um, column we added. And the value which was stopped in here on our previous map just carried over to here. So at this point there now, we hit close. And this is our new VE table. So Say now we in boost. So obviously, we're going to need to add fuel in boost. So we can go in here and just add whatever percentage we think is necessary. So we can add 10%, 15%, 100%. And similar for the increase in RPM, since now we're going up to 10,000 RPM, more than likely we might need a little bit extra fuel. So it's as simple as that. Now we have a new table, which all of this will be our original tune. Everything here. This is the tune we started off with. But now we have an extra row for higher RPM, an extra column, sorry. And now we have three extra rows for boost. You can do this. You can 
factor in as many tables and rows as you want if you want we can rescale this entire table to give boost 10 rows or 10 columns as many as you like right so hopefully this one was helpful let me know down in the comments like comment subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys on the next one